Hey everyone, this is Ruta Mittal. Here's how I plan my days, weeks and months as a seven-figure course creator. So let's get into it. Also, stay till the very end because I'm going to give you this template to download for yourself so that you can be as organized as ever and conquer the day and the week and the month instead of the day, week and month just hitting you and overwhelming you. All right, so let's get into it. So the number one thing I recommend in this plan planning session is just having your non-negotiables nailed down. Non-negotiables are work commitments that you have to do no matter what. It could be client calls, it could be sales calls, scheduled weekly calls with your team members, one-on-ones, content shooting day, things like that. So let's put that in. I actually don't have a lot of non-negotiables. It's pretty simple for me. Like I have the Vortex Mastermind Q&A or rather the collab call every Thursday. That is a non-negotiable for me. And that is typically the first thing that I will put on any given month because it's every Thursday, no matter what. Once every 90 days, we do a quarterly event as well. But this month is not a quarterly event month. It was June last month. So I'm not putting anything like that here. Anything else that you could think of for me, to be very frank, my calendar is pretty empty. That is how I work the best. I don't like unnecessary calls and meetings scheduled. Then I also have another non-negotiable, which is having shoot days for content where Aisha, my video person, comes into my place, just like we're doing now. And we record anywhere from three to four long form YouTube videos and that takes care of my content for the next three to four weeks and we have two shoot days for the entire month so i will put that in place for example today is 5th of july so we do have a shoot day today and then the next one let's say if it's gonna be on 11th i'm gonna put that in here as well so these are my non-negotiables on top of that the thing that i do no matter what is my daily huddle with my team that happens every single day i don't really put it on the planner because by this time Time since I've been doing it for more than I guess four years now so it's kind of like a habit just like you eat food and you drink water I go on a huddle at 12 30 p.m. my time those are my non-negotiable so that is the number one thing you want to jot down the second thing is the daily check-in things that you have to do no matter what for me as a CEO what I like to do is daily huddles as I said because it is a team check-in as well we strategize what we are working for the day and the week and then we exchange notes on progress we discuss any bottlenecks that come up on top of that there are things that i do on a recurring basis daily which is check the company cash flow check the company profit and loss check the lead quality and application quality check the sales pipeline how the content is performing check the marketing report with my team check the ad tracker and check the overall health of the business so this is what i do every day which is also what i call the ceo check-in daily basically it's an sop it's a checklist that i do every single day no matter what it's the first thing i do i typically don't just put it every day because i feel like it will just log the calendar but i will still put it in just to show you guys because this happens every single day and typically i do work six days of the week i will also schedule things for saturdays as well and then sundays i will take an off on top of that this is my daily check-in but if you are a solopreneur consultant freelancer agency owner your daily check-in might look a bit different as well yes you want to look at your finances leads pipeline sales pipeline all of that but on top of that i think you would also need to engage and reach out to people let's say you send a few friend requests every single day on facebook connection requests on LinkedIn, etc so in vortex we call this the 28 day action plan for client acquisition so those activities are your outreach activities and i believe those also should be a part of your daily check-in if you are constantly outreaching for clients every single day and that is how you get clients for us leads and clients come to us instead of us reaching out to them so that's why that is not one of my daily check-in items but if it is the case with you you can also put that in in your daily check-in checklist the third thing is the fun part the travels appointments and hobbies so let's say flight to um, India here and then if you're coming back on 30th you can just say flight back to Singapore 
and I put this in because when I want to plan my days like let's say I need to find a clean day for shooting something recording a new BSL new lecture maybe launching a virtual event doing a master class I need to see what my empty days are and that's why you need to put in your travel appointments or if you're staying at a hotel or if you have a work travel thing coming up or if you have hobbies like typically Saturdays I might also do like painting class so which I will note it down here and just so I don't forget because this is the fun thing as well and this could mean anything you want it to mean so it doesn't need to be like all work and no play this is that and then if you have any other hobbies like music class or whatever it is you can put that in I also like to schedule my daily workout so typically I will also put my workouts in here whether it's like okay I'm gonna cycle today so I'm gonna put that in here and then sometimes it's gonna be like you know I'm just gonna go to the gym today and the third day could be like it's a busy day it's a shoot day so I'm gonna be tired so I'm just gonna walk for 30 minutes outside so can you see how you should also put the things that you are passionate about which help your health and relationships as well on top of that if you have date nights I mean if you're meeting your colleagues for a fun thing or if you're meeting your friends for a fun thing I would put it here because I mean I like to see my calendar and be like oh these are the fun things that I can look forward to while also hustling hard so that I can truly enjoy those moments you should just put everything in that also makes it feel like you're living a well-rounded life just so you don't become a recluse because sometimes I am known for not getting out of my home for days on end. Sometimes for productivity reasons, I will go and work at a co-working space. So for those times, it's important that it's not a shoot day and it's not a collab call day because I would like a full day for me to just focus, work on a big thing and come back. So I will also write that down like, hey, this is the day I want to go on a co-working space and work from there. Have a 12-hour day, work from there, have some coffee, eat lunch from the outside and just have also a chance to meet with other founders and network with them if you're going to the right places. Then the last one I believe is the most important one which is your big outcomes that you're working towards so I would have you list your outcomes at any blank space that you could find for example this one my main three outcomes for the month is very simple we are launching a new VSL funnel for Vortex so uh, just working on that and then the second one is my team and I are working on Vortex 2.0 lectures because we are coming out with a brand new version of Vortex Mastermind we have tons of stuff we want to share with our clients swipe files resources launches everything that has worked well for us in the last few months we are going to consolidate it and share it with our clients so that they get fast results so that is the main thing and that is really product development which I love and then the third thing is I need to finish my book draft because it has been uh, pending for a long time and last month I got zero time to work on the book. I went on a writing trip back in May to Sidiman, Indonesia and that was fun. I wrote for a whole week straight but after that it was just like hustling and launching. So like these are my three main outcomes. So then I want to see okay since these are big projects when can I do this? So what I've planned is the VSL funnel over here. I think I'm gonna complete it in the first week of the July and then we have a shoot day over here. Shoot the actual VSL here but then I'm gonna prepare the slides and whatnot whatever is needed before this so that's why um, I would then put the VSL I would just put it here and I would um, you know kind of put it all day of the week because that's what I like I mean big projects to be very frank take a lot of time and this is that now that I think of it I want to add one more thing to your daily check-in is making sure your content is actually going out and scheduling emails for it so sometimes I will also put scheduling emails for the day in my um, daily planner as well because most days I will write emails on runtime rather than scheduling them unless I'm on vacation and I need to schedule in advance I will keep it more runtime so then I could sit here for one day and write emails for the next two or three days and so on and so forth so I would do that and then let's come back to the outcomes so Vortex 2.0 I believe I want to complete one big outcome for the month which is the VSL and then the shooting is done so then my video person Aisha is gonna edit it that means that I don't have to do anything after that after this day I'm completely free to work on new projects so then I would like schedule Vortex 2.0 over here and then just work on those um, and then this would kind of go on up until 
um, since I'm flying here I would not then put work over here and then I think it would take anywhere from two to three weeks so I'm just gonna put it right here I think it's gonna be done in two weeks if I fully focus on it so that's my plan so the book thing I think I want to take it up after I'm done with the VSL because again the VSL I believe is a bit of a project that I'm gonna pour myself fully into artistically as well creatively as well and the book is also another creative project so I want to put all my creative juice into the VSL and not have another creative project as well to do it with so then I would also schedule the book writing and book anyways I would write for one to two hours a day and I have some fun ways I get to write books which does not include me just sitting in front of a computer I would write my book outside when I'm cycling or walking and I would just narrate it into an AI app and that app will transcribe the book for me and then I can just come back and edit it later that's what I'm gonna schedule then after I'm done with the VSL I'm gonna write the book for one to two hours every day so then this also kind of goes on for the next two weeks on a daily basis so this is how I do it but can you see how I have a better idea of this week more than the next two weeks when I'm planning the month I will put all of this in but then every Saturday which is when I would sign off for the weekend I would check how did this week go did we do everything that we were supposed to do did we not do we need to move something to the next week because sometimes that would happen then I would also sit down on Saturday and plan like how the next week is gonna look like and kind of fill this out completely and so on and so forth as you can see this is how I plan my month I keep it simple and to the point and if you want the planner I will link it down in the description for you and if you enjoyed this video do let me know in the comments because I would really appreciate it and of course if you found value from this video hit the like and the subscribe button before I leave you I just want to tell you the importance of planning don't let the day week and month hit you any kind of success I've had till date I do attribute it to clear planning and just working on three main outcomes that's what I advise my clients as well because a lot of people like to work on a lot of things all at once they are overwhelmed and then they are not able to make any real progress on anything so instead I like to go hard on one thing and then forget about everything else once I'm done with that thing I move on to the next thing all right you guys this is Ruth I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you learned something now the homework goes to you to go and plan your next month whenever you see it I feel like this is an evergreen video all right I'll see you in the next one bye